Hello, welcome back guys. Uh, we got Michael Simon here, aka Dirt Perfect and Master Trooper Brent Hoover with the Indiana State Police Commercial Vehicle Enforcement Division. We're going to discuss a little bit about tires, weight ratings, and the federal weights. So stay tuned. Here on the Heavy Metal Learning Channel. So uh, what we're going to kind of talk about now is some size and weights. So when it comes to size and weight, we're going to keep throwing this disclaimer out. If you've got specific questions, refer to your home state because right. like we discussed with the BMV and the, the registrations, all this can change. But we're going to really try to hit on the federal, what's pretty yes, well our, accepted everywhere. Our goal for this video is to hit the big generic bullet points. Yes. So if you want a bunch of dirty details, you need to get to your local authorities mm -hmm. to get that. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and I will throw out JJ Keller's got a real nice size and weight book that if you are wanting to do a lot or you're starting into the oversized, you know, or just general trucking state to state, grab that book. It's got all the different states and their specific breakdowns on it. I think one of the biggest myths, and, it, and this was true for me whenever I got started, maybe just because I was naive, is a uh, tractor trailer, 80,000 pounds. You know, uh, a tandem axle truck in our state's 48,000 pounds. Uh, if I'm under 48,000 pounds, I'm good to go, officer. Yeah. yeah. And that's not quite the case. That's not quite the case, and that's, that's where we get a little excited because we got you stopped, you think, oh, well, I'm fine. But then, as you can see here, I'm, I, I was never an art major, but uh, we've got all sorts of trucks, trailers, tractors, semis. We're going to go through and really break it down. So, when it comes to it, I mean, here in the state of Indiana, um, under our state laws, um, your pickup truck, you go to the mulch, the rock yard, and you get two ton of gravel and you're squatting going down the road here in the state of Indiana, our officers can stop, weigh you, and see what your weight is. Now, when it comes to a commercial motor vehicle, real, real quick recap, commercial motor vehicle is anything 10,001 pounds or more. Right. So when it comes into a commercial motor vehicle, now we get a little bit of, a little bit more on the weights and stuff. So when we're looking at the state of Indiana, the small stuff, we're going off registered weight. Now the bigger stuff, we've got DOT numbers involved, CMVs involved. So now where basically the real big thing is always if you've got a question on the weight on what your vehicle can carry, look at your tires. Check out the tire weight ratings. That usually ends up being the weakest link. That is the weakest link because what will happen, a guy will have his big truck, he'll have his trailer, he'll throw 20,000 pounds on here, his GVWR maybe 19, 20, he's in the market, right in the area, but then we come down to the tires and they're only rated for 18,000. One example so. I see about a lot of times is the guy that buys a trailer and uses it occasionally and the tire goes bad, he goes to the tire shop and buys a used tire of the cheapest one they got. And now the weight rating for that tire is different than the weight rating for the trailer. Exactly, exactly. Or you buy a used trailer, you don't know what they put on exactly. between the manufacturer and what you picked up. So exactly. So when in doubt, when you've got a question on what your vehicle can weigh, look at the tire weight rating. That's going to give you exactly because when you are in a CMV, a DOT type thing, if we're going to place a vehicle out of service for tire weights, it's going to be exceeding that tire weight limit. So knowing, I guess we need to maybe go back here a little bit, but there's, there's different ways that you can put a vehicle out of service for weight. One is being over the registered weight, is that correct? Here in the state of Indiana, um, we don't necessarily place them out, but more or less park them until they make the weight legal. Okay. Um, the only way we actually place a vehicle out of service, parked, cannot move, is when it exceeds that tire weight rate. Tire weight, okay. The, the next one would be the axle weight. So how much you can carry per axle. Per axle. And yeah. then the third one would be the tire weight, weight yeah. which that's the big yeah. safety one right mm -hmm. there, which is the actual exactly. out of service. Exactly, so. exactly. Uh, you've got several different configurations of trucks here. I'll let you kind of go down through there and kind of say, uh, I'm, I'm going to have you have the, the mentality that you're on the road. You see this truck going by, kind of what you your big bullet points are of different configurations and weights and, and stuff like that. So Absolutely. So 
Um, so we've already, like I said, when it comes to the small pickup trucks, uh, SUV stuff like that, we're going to go off, you know, tire registered weight. So we've already kind of talked on that. So here, here's an example. We got a single ax axle dump truck. It's a commercial motor vehicle um, here in the state of Indiana, and we pretty well adopt a lot of the same. But like I said, those can change from state to state. So when in doubt, contact your home state. But here in the state of Indiana, any single axle, single axle can get up to 20,000 per single axle. Now, what's gonna bring that down, and typically, we hear on a front steer, 12,000 is kind of the accepted run of the mill. If you was to stop a, a over the road driver, hey, how much can you have on your front axle? 12,000 pounds. That'd be my answer. You know, and that's just kind of the generalized but basically, you can get up to 20,000 pounds, but what's restricting that is the tire rating. So a lot of the road tractors we see going up and down the road, standard semis, they're gonna have anywhere from 12.5 to 13.5 load rating, but they can max out to 20,000. And the reason for that is, is a lot of times you'll have duels back here, so you have twice as many tires. I know you can get super singles and some floaters exactly. and stuff. To raise exactly. that up, but you don't see trucks running down the road with duels on the stairs. Exactly, exactly. So, especially on these smaller dump trucks. Now, here in the state, as we start to add axles and get bigger and bigger, that's where we see a lot of the float axles. But still, so here in the state of Indiana, pretty well accepted everywhere else. Like I said, we're still looking at twenty thousand max on what they can get, depending on the tire weight rating. And when we get dual axles like this, um, we're looking at 34,000 is going to be the max weight that they can put on the rear duals. I think it's important to point out here is you get a 20,000 in this configuration, but you only get 34 combined, so you lose 6,000 pounds. In yeah, this some, and, and that is, and that is, um, and I've had that discussion many times, roadside, but I got twice and I can get 20,000, why can't I get 40? That was determined a long, a long time well, ago. I don't want to get too scientific 34. on this or go too far down a different path, but this has to do with the recovery rate of the asphalt and the road and the placement of those axles is why, is why that's in, into effect. So. Exactly, and that's, and that's kind of what I was drawing out. I talked to a road engineer as well, and, and they said just depending on rebound and, and yeah, you know that. Yeah. So, so. Uh, but, but I just think that's a, a, a good correlation that needs to be made there. I, I made the assumption that if I can call 20,000 pounds on a single axle, I can call 40,000 pounds on a tandem. I was yeah. wrong. Yeah. And so, and then we jump down here, here in the state of Indiana, we have tri-axle dump trucks. So tri-axle, three axles. So. Typically this one's not a drive, it would be a, a Just a axle. floater, floater, summer steers. So again, we're looking at a max of 20 K on the front. And then these two here, we're still looking at 34, and then this one, a max of 20,000. But here's the kicker. Here in the state of Indiana, the most this triaxle group can be is 50,000. And again, this is state of Indiana. So what, what the state of Indiana has determined is we'll give this triaxle group max of 50,000, we're going to give this setup max of 34, and of course the single axle max. So if we were weighing this, and say we weighed this, and this axle was 10,000, this axle was 10,000, the most that could be is 20,000. 20, now, this doesn't mean you can go 20,000, 34,000, because obviously that's over 50,000. That means the whole triaxle group cannot exceed 50,000. And, and this, is, this brings up two good examples here. If you just can't go off axle ratings, you've got to find that asterisk off in the in the rule book there a little bit and get that group rating. Mm -hmm. And also, um, if you're going to have this truck loaded capacity, you got to make sure everything is loaded equally. Exactly. And that's what's really, really super tough about this setup is getting it. A lot of times, we'll never see 20,000 up here on the front. So we're in, and typically, we're, you know, they're going to load it like this. So that focuses all this weight back here, and then this tag axle, where you can mess with the air ratings and stuff, but this is kind of one of those, kind of the unicorn of things that 
Um, to get that fully legal, your load's going to be so light in here, it, it is frustrating. Right. It's, so it's hard to get it distributed over the entire truck. It, it, it is. It is. So, and then that jumps down to the quad axles. Here in the state of Indiana, quad axles, and again, gross weight, um, you know, looking at this. Here in the state of Indiana, we actually stipulate that the gross weight of a triaxle unit is 68,000. So, you know, 68, 50, 34 point, all those numbers add up more than that. So again, you know, aiming for 68, and what I try to tell drivers out there is aim for, the gross weight is the easiest thing to look for when you're loading, aim for a legal gross weight. You're, you're probably gonna still be over, but trying to aim for a legal gross weight is the best you can do. Now one configuration we do not see in Indiana a lot, the four coming out west and down south, is they'll actually have the axle that folds down off the back of the truck. Mm -hmm. The main purpose of that is it actually helps put weight up here on the street. Exactly, sphere. exactly. So um, we'll move our 50 right there. And what, uh, what Mike's talking about is you'll see these axle setups that fold up. So when they fold out, they've got an additional axle. So not only are they pushing weight, but and we'll talk about this here in a few minutes, but the federal bridge, when we start talking distances, it's now creating a greater distance to spread that weight. Because the whole reason where they got 68,000 was typically the distance from this axle to this axle kept it contained where 68 was the most you can concentrate to where that and which we don't they, see that which we call the bridge wall the bridge which wall. that goes back to the asphalt or road recovery right exactly and that's and that's what's usually really based and that's how a lot of these numbers come into play because you have certain axles but then the distances here expand that out so what uh, configuration do we have here? So what we've got here is a quad axle dump truck. So these, these two axles here are floaters. Um, they're not drive axles, they're just float. They don't adjust to steer, stuff like that. So what we're looking at here is we've still got our 34 on the rear. We still got our 20 KF front, and we still got our 20 and 20. Plus we still have our triaxle group a 50k but overall in the state of Indiana we give it 73 280 pounds and that number we call that kind of the grandfather clause because way back when in the late 60s early 70s that's the number they came up with and, and that's the number it. that's stuck in the wall so so a five axle setup below 39 feet from axle one to five is going to get 73,280. So if you cram five axles within that amount of distance, so this truck here and this semi tractor with a short pup trailer, the next state over from us loves these. They don't like tag axles. They, the state of Illinois does not honor that stuff. So we see a lot of little short pup trailers and semis come into the state. So if they're below 39 feet, the max Indiana grants them is 73,280. And we'll talk about more how that number spreads, the greater it goes up. Again, these are the, the mass, the, the, the maximum weights granted. Yes, the maximum gross weight. So we can't gross. overload, we can't overload the maximum grade. Exactly. And we can't overload a tire. Exactly. So the kicker there is, What's going to place this truck out of service? Exceeding a tire weight rate. Next thing that's going to park it, potential impound, is being way overweight in some nature. And every county is different. Gotcha. So 92 different counties, 92 different ways to look at it. So these would be what I consider all of our straight frame trucks. Straight frames. So we're going to yep. switch over and go into uh, combination vehicles now. Yep. Yep. So basically, again, uh, what we got here is a couple pickup trucks, pickup truck, standard yard trailer. You're going off the tire rating, registered weight, whatever you registered with the BMB. Again, this would be the guy, uh, Grandpa Hall and his lawnmower yeah, with this setup. Exactly. And I would caution people: it's easier to overload those chairs than what you think, especially when it comes to tire rating. Exactly. Exactly. Because you go uh, no offense, Harbor Freight. I love them. <laughs> I spend a lot of money there. I'd spend more if my wife let me. But you get a little Harbor Freight trailer. Those are not the greatest. You know, China best tires. Um, yeah, they may have. 1500 pound 
and then real quickly, you know, you get these big side by sides and all that, you're going to be right. exceeding that. Right. And and for us, especially around here, it's we're not looking to write tickets, but what's scariest is. When you get these trailers overloaded, you're blowing tires. Blow tires equal losing control. Losing control rolls your vehicle. And road and debris on the road. Exactly. Exactly. So, you know, we can get into that. Um, so this would be a similar setup to what I brought into the scales today. This yeah. would be a pickup truck, tandem axle trailer. Yeah. Um, I mean, this combination you can get up to twenty four, twenty six thousand pounds. Yeah. Depending easy. on depending on the size of the tow unit depending on the size of the trailer, whatever things rated for, um, exactly. So, you know, and again, we're looking at the tire weight ratings on all of this to see what the tire weight ratings are, to see what the weight is. And this is where I've cautioned people again, whenever you put tires on trailers, it's important to look at those weight ratings because yes. sometimes cheaper is not always better. No, and uh, I went out a couple years ago, did a, a presentation for a utility company um, and proceeded to weigh a couple trailers, determined that um, the tr tires that they were replacing was not up to spec, and got a phone call a couple days later. They had spent over eighty thousand dollars upgrading the tires, really, just because they they really didn't. That slipped through the cracks. They didn't think about that. I can so. think of a, a discussion you and I had a while back about a coal hauler that was uh, getting what they call the pizza cutter tires on their quad axle trucks and they thought they were getting the axle ratings but they weren't because the same issue the weight rating exactly was so what what he was talking about is um what and we'll see them around here they may they'll have real little itty bitty real and we and uh you call them what pizza, pizza cutters pizza cutters we call them bicycle tires so <laughs> we see it we see a quad axle go by and you've got these itty bitty little wheels and he's thinking, oh, I, you know, and what they're doing is they're using that small weight to lighten up the vehicle, but then real quickly they do not get that weight rating. So we saw one, they were more or less pickup truck tires with the yep. size, and they were 3,300, you know, 35, and that gets nowhere near your 20. So then they were exceeding the tire rate rating of their. Tires. Going back to the importance of tires. Exactly. So. Exactly. So, like I said, we can real quickly, but the big thing is on these combinations, if you've got questions on how much you can weigh, um, don't go off your registered weight because we've already discussed that B&Bs, they can go higher or lower. Uh, GVWR is a good area to really look, but your best resort is go straight to the tire. Check out those tire weights. So this would be the uh, grandpa's lawnmower. This would be... Um the typical car trailer pickup trucks. Yeah, camper, you know, fifth wheel campers, your RVs, um, RVs something um, especially, because you know, you purchase an RV, they're they're wanting to make it most cost effective, they're gonna have tires that are just at the limit. Really? So just be, just be mindful, once you get full tanks loaded down for the weekend, how much are you really loading yeah, on and those and I guess I just want to emphasize the, the importance of this is to anybody towing or hauling a trailer, it, just not commercial vehicles. Absolutely, absolutely. And if anybody's ever in the Terre Haute I-70 area, um, and you found out today, our scales are open as far as to the public 24 hours a day, and we've got a readout right there. Right, if, yeah. you've, if you've got your own personal trailer, camper, RV, whatever, and you want to come in and get a weight, do it, you know. And I think that the, the, the stigma that you guys are going to pick on a lot of here is not, they, you guys appreciate people trying to do the right thing. We do, we do. And, and especially like that, um, we've had plenty of people come in or, or whatever, you know, come in, stop in, say, hey, i got a question on this. We're more than happy to, because we, like I said, and we've talked about this a dozen times before, a little ounce of just talking about it and trying to point the right direction goes, goes, goes a long way. So we're, now we're going to get into the big boys. Yeah. Uh, combination vehicles, um, again, it's not near as cut and dry as what it should be. Everything always gets more chopped up, but uh, a couple different scenarios uh, here. So Yeah, and, and like I said, the big thing here is every state can be different, but the vast majority of states are pretty darn close. So, again, the road tractors, the stigma is usually around 12,000, but you, your standard, standard uh, steer axles on an over-the-road truck, you're looking at 12.5, 13.5. But again, the max is 20K. Your duels back here, 34,000. And then your trailer is going to be 
34,000. Now, option two, and a lot of people have seen this, so this is for the fixed group. Let's say I've got one of these flatbed trailers that's got axles out here. We call this, you know, the split, split axles? Spread axle. Spread axle. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we get 20 and 20. So now back here, they can max out at 40,000 pounds. Now, they've got to be over a certain distance and it's like 96 inches or something, but basically you'll see these flatbed semi-trailers, stuff like that, they'll have these spread axles so that they can get more weight back here. That's the whole purpose. And that's the whole purpose. Now, now one thing I want to point out here, this is actually kind of a little bit of configuration of my truck. The question I get is how much can I haul? And my truck empties 35,000 pounds. Yeah. So if I can go up to 80,000 pounds, that's what, 45,000 pounds mm -hmm. I can legally haul. It's hard. It is very hard for me to haul 45,000 pounds. I can only haul about 40 because my axles, I cannot keep them overloaded by axles on my trailer. I always end up light on the truck and heavy on mm -hmm. the back. So mm -hmm. even though I got the mass says I can haul 45,000 pounds, for me to actually get that weighted on the truck correctly is very difficult. It is. It's very difficult. And you've got that little bit shorter trailer to where, you know, if your axles were more placed back, you know, further. Right. And that's and that's too. And, and basically, if you've got questions, and what you've referenced is the Federal Bridge Formula, Federal Bridge Chart. Anybody can Google that, type in Federal Bridge Chart. There's a bunch of different places that will pull up this chart. And let's, let's jump into that because what you're referencing is you measure from your front axle to your rearmost axle. You determine what that was and that spit out. It can be shorter. So like what we were saying here, 39 feet and below, and like I said, here at the state of Indiana, we grant that 73,280. So at 39 feet, if a tractor trailer, and that's where a lot of them get confused, they think, oh, well, I'm in a tractor trailer. Right. I can get 80,000 pounds. No, it's That's it's where the, the length distance. of the truck the, trumps exactly. the, the, the uh, axle weight. Exactly. So we're measuring from center axle, center number five, and we could sit here. There's even um, inner bridge where you've got a truck tractor and you're measuring from there in distances, but we're, we're going to stick to the big, the big overall. We're looking at the overall. So numbers. I think you have this number here. Once you're 51 feet from steer axle to center of rear yep. tandem yep. Group, uh, that that's Basically where you get that's, your 80K. That's where you're 80,000. And, and then I get this question. Well, what about these trucks I see rolling down the road, especially here um, and I don't know, you've probably seen them, but going up and down the road, we got several steel plants, stuff like that. We're starting to see some trailers with triple, and, and, and maybe, you know, or, or um, they'll either do triple or they'll have some additional axles. So what they're doing is they've maxed out on their length as far as what they can go, but they're adding additional axles in there to up what they can permit and weigh. Carry, so, carry weight. So to basically carry more weight in that footprint, you need additional wheels on the ground. So I hope, uh, we, we just kind of hit the tip of the iceberg here. Absolutely. With all this. And, and we Absolutely. also want to emphasize that, you know, every state has a little different on this. This is kind of the big, the big bullet points. I know it's confusing. I've been doing this for 15 years. Uh, I'm still grasping. I, I learn something every time we discuss this, but there is a lot of good resources out there. You referenced a few. Yeah, like I said, ones. JJ Keller's got an awesome size and weight little little handbook thing that covers all the different states. Um, if you're in a different particular state, try to get in touch with somebody. Call if you're here in the state of Indiana and you got a specific question. Get on the Facebook page. Send me a message. Give me your dimensions. And I'm going to reference this material. I'll even send you the federal bridge chart. I got it pulled up. But, but when in doubt, go look at your tire weight rating. And, and that's what that's I wanted. What's that's what I wanted one. to close with. It is a lot of people. I never even considered that until I met you. To be honest with you, but a lot of times that is the biggest safety issue. That's the one way to get out of service, mm -hmm. uh, being overweight. And that's usually the weakest link is the tire. Exactly. So, and, and all tires have a frame on the side, so check the uh, the moral of this, I guess, at the end here. It is make sure you study that tire rating. So, um, Officer Hoover, we can't thank you enough for taking the time hey, to, uh, to do by. this today. Your wealth of knowledge. We will do our best to get his.
Facebook channel, our page linked in the description. If you guys got any questions, uh, they can shoot a direct message to you and, uh, and get that answered. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Be safe.